Ready to ditch the car and take the train instead? There's another possibility coming down the track in the next few years. It's an east side commuter train that will run from Miami to West Palm Beach. And tonight, the group behind the Broward portion of the rail project is holding a public hearing in Hollywood. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten takes a closer look at what we can expect. We have two passenger rail lines in South Florida. Now a third is on the way. This one, the long promised east side commuter rail, once known as the Coastal Link. I think it's a very good idea. This passenger did not want to give her name, but she lives on the east side. To catch the train to Miami, she has to find her way across town. Either I take a bus, which sometimes doesn't really match the time for the connection, or I have to take the um, Uber, which is costly. The congestion is pretty extreme. Corey Cuff Lonergan is the CEO of Broward County Transportation. She's part of the team planning Broward's portion of the commuter rail. It's going to be a game changer for everybody that wants to avoid the congestion on I-95 and all other roads point north and south. Um, sit back, relax, drink a cup of coffee and enjoy the ride. In Broward, the train will have stations in Fort Lauderdale near Broward Health, at the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport, and in Hollywood. It will continue into Miami-Dade between Aventura and downtown Miami, stopping at FIU, North Miami, Little Haiti, the Design District, and Wynwood, ending at the Government Center. Hollywood is already preparing, building multifamily housing where the train station will be at 21st and Taylor with more buildings nearby. We've got uh, a residential community, University Station with Barry University right here being built with public parking to complement the train station. We're laying down the groundwork. There's still some uncertainty as to what this commuter line will be called and who will operate it. As for the stations, we could see construction begin in the next couple of years. We're starting to see construction probably within two, two and a half years. Eventually, this is going to open sometime between 27 uh, uh, and uh, 30. There's going to be a virtual public hearing for the Broward portion of this project on Thursday at 6 p.m. In Miami Day, they're setting up a meeting there for some time in early July. For more information, just go to our website, cbsmiami.com. In Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS News Miami.